CBS 47 Fox 30 Action News Jax starts right now. Days of controversy and questions take an abrupt turn as Jacksonville Sheriff Mike Williams announces his plan to retire next Friday. The move comes after days of questions about the status of the Jacksonville Sheriff after he confirmed his move to Nassau County on last Friday. I'm Tanika Hughes. I'm John Bachman. A draft unofficial and unbinding legal opinion from the city's top lawyer says that Williams stopped being sheriff when he moved out of Duval County to Nassau County last year. We have live team coverage for you tonight. Action News Jax Ben Ryan is getting reaction from community leaders about the sheriff's decision. We start with Action News Jax Jake Stofan and Jake. The council members you spoke to today tell you they think it's time to move on. Yeah, that was the opinion of the majority of the city council members we spoke with today who are basically saying with Williams announcing he'll be uh, retiring. You know, these residency issues are basically a moot point at this point. On the other hand, there are some city council members who are saying this new draft opinion raises more questions than it answers. Sheriff Mike Williams announced his retirement this morning, just a few hours before this draft opinion from the city's general counsel was released. While the opinion isn't binding, it would have deemed the office of the sheriff vacant as of 2 p.m. Thursday. I think uh, this keeps us from this issue dragging out and, and stops um, to a large part the drama involved. City Council member Matt Carlucci says he doesn't believe at this point the opinion needs to be made binding, arguing the draft opinion will serve as guidance going forward. I think that's important historically and if this thing ever comes up again, it's like case history. The draft opinion also deemed valid all compensation of and actions taken by the sheriff during the year he lived outside of Duval County. Do you feel like this is probably the cleanest resolution we could have asked for out of this situation? It probably is the cleanest one we could have asked for. Council President Sam Newby thanked the sheriff for deciding against a court battle. Because it could have been a long drawn out, so I commend the sheriff for uh, Design, and, and, and the chef have done a really good job. However, with the draft opinion saying the office would be vacated by 2 p.m. today and the sheriff retiring Friday of next week, mayoral candidate and city council member Leanna Cumber says there is still a need for more clarity. I just think that there are a lot of questions to be answered, and I think that we need to do that um, because, look, we need to make sure that the integrity of the office remains. This afternoon, Council Member Brenda Jackson officially filed this request with the General Counsel seeking a binding determination on whether the Sheriff's Office was officially vacated back in March of 2021 when Williams moved to Nassau County. Now the next step in all of this will be for City Council to call for and set a date for a special election. In the meantime, the governor will likely appoint an interim uh, sheriff to serve while voters have an opportunity to decide the next sheriff. Coming up on Action News, Jax at 6, I'll tell you what kind of candidate city council members are hoping the governor does appoint and what kind of candidates he's hoping he doesn't. Reporting uh, for local coverage you can count on live downtown, I'm Jake Stofan, Action News, Jax. Now, as Jake just said, the governor is expected to appoint an interim sheriff to serve after the 10th. The city council is expected to meet Monday to set a date for a special election. And whoever wins that race would serve out the rest of the current term. That runs through June 30th, 2023. The sheriff's allies and political opponents are staking out their positions on the sheriff's decision to retire. We continue our team coverage with Action News Jack's Ben Ryan live at City Hall. And Ben, this move by Williams has resulted in a lot of responses citywide. Hey, and John, on Monday, Williams said he didn't see a scenario where he would resign, but that certainly has changed today. And there has been a lot of reaction all throughout Jacksonville coming in on this Thursday, some of which have criticized his time as a sheriff, others who have praised his work and the work in general that he's done during his tenure. I want you to take a look at your screen right now. Actually, Jack received several statements today, one from Fraternal Order of Police saying, part of quote, Sheriff Mike Williams has maintained the trust and respect of our members during his time in office. Also adding in that statement, quote, we wish him and his family well and whatever the future holds he will truly be missed. Now, Duval Democratic Party also sent us a statement following Williams announcement saying quote Williams retirement although legally dubious now closes a chapter of lawlessness in our county. We look forward to the city council calling an August special election. 
Now others like activist Ben Frazier have been rather critical of the violence in general in Jacksonville. Action News Jack spoke with him earlier today on learning about Williams' resignation amid this controversy. The sheriff is the city's top cop. He is supposed to lead by example. He is paid to enforce the law, but in this instance, he broke the law. I feel certain that this is a painful experience for the sheriff, but I also feel pretty certain that it's going to be a learning and growth experience for the sheriff and for us all. And coming up tonight at 10 and 11 here on Action News Jax, we are speaking with the citizens of Jacksonville and how they feel about learning about what has happened today and also the fact that Jacksonville currently doesn't have a sheriff. For local coverage, you can count on at City Hall. I'm Ben Ryan, Action News Jax. Mike Williams joined JSO in 1991. He served as a patrol officer, then a detective, a member of the career criminal unit and the SWAT team. He was promoted to sergeant in 1999 and then lieutenant in 2004. He entered the senior leadership ranks in 2008, working in JSO's Homeland Security and Patrol and Enforcement Departments. He was elected sheriff in 2015, re-elected in 2019.